Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From The Cauldron and today I am doing some ice dyeing with a little bit of a twist. Now this doesn't look like my normal ice dyeing setup, does it? I've got my old drink bottle here, uh, put the yarn in and I will fill this up with dye and ice, take the, take the lid off and it will just drip down and because if you've seen any of my ice dyeing videos before, I hate to leave, I hate to waste any dye. I have some more yarn sitting in the bottom of that tray waiting to get all the excess. That's a day. Right. I am going to be doing dye over ice for this. So I'm going to plop in some ice. Now each of these two skeins are 100 grams of Superwash Merino in DK weight and they have been soaking in oh gosh, I'm everywhere. they have been soaking in uh, vinegar and water for probably about an hour ish when you dye animal fibers you need acid heat and acid dyes or food coloring so i've got that the acid is already in here with the pre-soak and the, the dyes I'm using today are black from DT Craft and Design, hyacinth from Dharma, and spearmint breeze from Dharma. Now, I haven't quite filled this all the way to the top. That's deliberate because I want to put a couple of ice cubes just on the very top and then I'm going to cover it while everything melts. So I think I'm going to start with Spearmint Breeze. I'm just going to pop it in there. I'm going to be quite generous with this because the yarn is all bunched up and I don't know how it's going to go. I'm just going to do. There we go. I'll do that for Spearmint Breeze. I will probably come back and get some more, but just start off with that. I am wearing safety equipment, so I've got my gloves, I've got some, I've got my mask on, and everything I'm using today is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use this stuff for food at all. So I'm now using Hyacinth, just generously adding that in there, let's get some down the side, oh that's gone all the way down to the yarn, that's good, okay I'll do four Hyacinths, and lastly I'm going to go with some black, now actually know what's going on the other side of this so I'm going to turn it around a little bit there we go oh I see that's gone straight down to the yarn and again that's fine Just going to... we are in the middle of a heat wave here at the moment so this ice is already uh, melting it is the evening it's been getting up to about 25 degrees during the day at the moment so this will probably won't take too long to to all melt completely okay, black i'm going to add a bit more spearmint breeze because i think that one is probably going to be the one that gets drowned out if any of them do so Generously, oh, it's gone straight down to the yarn. There we go. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, I'll do. I think, there's, I think there's plenty of hyacinth in there. Uh, yeah. The lid back on. So I'm just going to add another little layer because there is powder on the top I just just want to add just a little layer there and I'm going to just cover it with a little bit of foil just just to be on the safe side 
There we go. Right, I'm going to unscrew this and we just let everything melt. I can't wait to see how this turns out. This guy, I've, yeah, I've never seen this done with yarn before, only with fabric. So this should be really interesting. It's only been about half an hour or so since I set this up, but you can see the dye starting to drip down the yarn. See, that's the top there, so that's where it would have sat. And it's just dripping down. It's the next day and all the ice has melted. We've still got some of the lovely green through there. There's lots of black and there is lots of uh, white left as well. And ooh, some lovely pale blues coming through there. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to put this to steam set. And if we have a little look at the yarn underneath, you can see very little dye actually dripped through. So what I'm going to do with this is we'll move that over to the stove top and I'm just going to add some more dye powder to it. Here is my pot with the steamer basket. And, oh, pulling out this yarn. Cool, look at that. Got some beautiful greens and blacks there and some lovely blue patches on top as well. Wow, lots of white too. So I'm going to put that in there. There is still a fair bit of dye left on the yarn. So I'm going to cover that up and let it steam for about 40 45 minutes and then hopefully the dye will be set here's our yarn i'm just going to spread this out a little bit it's quite wet but there's only that tiny bit of dye the green dye which i think i am um, spilt and a little bit of black that has come through my mask and gloves back on now this is not on heat at the moment uh, I'm going to start with some spearmint breeze. I'm just going to. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Just tap lightly. Oh, just gradually, gently sprinkle the spearmint breeze over. I think. There we go. Let's go with some higher scent now. Be a bit more gentle with this. There we go. So we don't get too many big globs of dye. Now, there was some dye stuck to the edge of this bottle. So I've just filled it up with water and attempt to try and dissolve some of that dye. I'm just going to sploosh it on here. There we go. So I've got all the dye off it. This time it's just clear water. All over, so it's sort of a put all over, so it's sort of more full immersion than low immersion. Turn the heater on. There we go. You can see some powder that's not dissolved. So I'm just going to go poking that. Right. Add a bit more vinegar. I'm not going to measure the vinegar. I'm just going to squirt some all over because this yarn has been uh, was soaking in vinegar and water to start with and I'm going to let this come up to boil and then simmer for maybe 15-20 minutes just to see see how long it takes for the, the dyes to do all absorb into the yarn. Now once this reached a rolling boil 
I just reduced the temperature and I've just let it sit here for about 20 minutes and it looks like all the dye has absorbed to the yarn which is fantastic I haven't flipped this so I don't know what it looks like on the other side but hopefully it should be it should be okay so I'm just gonna turn this one off now let it cool down and then I can wash it now this has been on the steam for about 45 minutes so it's nice and steamy in there and it doesn't look like there's any dye sticking to the sides mm, oops, ow. Oops, bit of, no, maybe a little maybe a tiny bit of the black but nothing too bad so I'm just going to take this off cover it up now I need to clear up for so I can make my kids dinner so I'm going to let this cool down and then I can wash everything together I'll wash this yarn I'm not expecting there to be any bleeding because the water is completely clear. A little bit of washing up liquid just to get rinse out any bits of dye that haven't bound to the yarn, get rid of the vinegar smell, just uh, give it a good rinse. And uh, I'm not seeing any bleeding, which is perfect. And there are some really cool bits in this yarn. I really, really love this. Can't wait to see this all dry. So I'm going to rinse out this soap and then I can hang this up to dry. Here are our two very different and very beautiful finished skeins of yarn. Now this one was the one that I put in the bottle and put the ice and dye on top and let it all melt. This was the one that was underneath. So I'll have a look at this one first. Now I love this so much. Um, we've got some lovely, uh, we've still got some white patches, but it's mostly sort of a, a dusty pale gray. And we've got some lovely speckles. Can you see, see there, speckles of the green, speckles of the um, hyacinth. Uh, and it's just, beautiful and then coming round this is actually my favorite favorite part we've got the black and it's got a sort of a green halo around it so i don't know if that's the black splitting probably not it's probably just the the um two dyes mixing but i just think that is absolutely stunning i've and i just love it and then you've got the mix here of the the green coming into the lots of uh the black and the the hyacinth and uh it's the hyacinth looks like purpley in some patches and quite blue in other patches it's a very interesting dye and i i'm looking forward to playing about with it a bit more but it's this is just i love it it's a, a fun yarn and an even and a really fun technique to use as well. And this one was the yarn that I had underneath just to collect any dye that dripped out of this because I hate to waste dye. And I did add some extra dyes. Not much, I didn't go overboard, but it's lovely sort of washed out colors. I've got some lovely pale sort of greeny blues here. Um, we've still got some lovely bright pops of blue and some uh, lovely, sort of mottled uh, black in there. I just, oh, and there's a random bright yellow splodge in there too. That's uh, different. But, oh, that green is absolutely stunning. Green's my favorite color, so I'm always a bit biased towards green. Um, and yeah, these are two beautiful skeins of yarn uh, using the same three colors, dyed at the same time, uh, same yarn base but two very different techniques and has produced two gorgeous different skeins of yarn and it's got me thinking should i just pick out two or three random colors and use those colors together on as many with as many different techniques as possible so um you know, i could do another uh bottle ice dye for for one do another low immersion for another do do a speckling on another skein and um, do dip dye on another uh, should i do something like that 
com leave, a, leave a comment down below let me let me know if i should uh, experiment like that thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it please do click like and subscribe to my channel i produce a new dyeing tutorial every monday and it's normally published between about 6 and 8 pm uh, uk time and every week there is something different so some weeks i might cut off the bottom of a plastic bottle and shove a load of yarn and ice and dye in it and see what happens other times i might do techniques that maybe you're more familiar with and i do like to experiment with different fiber types as well and different uh yarn bases and fabrics and dyes and all sorts so every week there will be something different thank you so much for watching